Hello everyone and welcome back to Make Your Mind. This is another Hollow Knight Sculpture Showcase and uh, for me, this is a special one. Since since a viewer requested the initial for, of me making actual uh, sculptures of the game Hollow Knight, I have I've made a ton of them, but I have to admit, in learning about the game and finding out about its lore, I have become a huge fan of the game. So a shout out to that viewer. Um, thank you so much for getting me involved with this. It has been such a blast. And uh, this one character that I have done is actually is my favorite. My favorite character of the entire game. He's a master of the nail. Who then turned in his nail and became an artist. Not too dissimilar from myself. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a former U.S. Navy veteran. I, I did four years. Was doing. I did underwater mine warfare. That was a crazy time in my life. And uh, I've sort of mellowed out. I've have slowed down, and, and now look at me. I'm doing clay videos on YouTube. I feel I feel a certain comparison to this character, and uh, well, let me t let me say as it is from the wiki. This is a character who has turned in the nail and has decided to paint in life, but paints alone in his shack. And in fact, this character is also a boss in the Godmaster DLC. He actually has his own pantheon. And as he should, because he is a master. He's the master of the nail and the master of the paintbrush. His name is... Shio. <laughs> and here he is. Man, this one took me a little while to make. Because he has this extremely... He has this awesome looking cloak that wraps around him with these... With the long bits that come down. I have this little thing here as a pedestal that I have him sitting on. Because the character, his legs are so spindly that it's tough to tell. But he has his apron. He also has his great paintbrush. And he is such a cool looking character. He's this sort of like a Hercules beetle with the... Uh, the claws up here. He's got the red bandana. And he's actually a boss that you fight in the Godmaster DLC. And he's quite a pivotal character. He teaches you a special technique for your nail. And I mean, he's just one of the coolest. For me, anyway, he's my absolute favorite character. And there's also another part about this character that I really do like. And you can interpret it as you will. But there's another character in Hollow Knight that is also important to you as a character. Basically, not only, like, because you have Shio that teaches you the skills of the nail, but then you have another character who actually designs for you the pure nail. I did a video on this character already, so if you want to see the details on that, go and click on that video. I will leave a card right here. If you want to go check out that video. And that character is... The Nailsmith. As you can see, I switched out. I don't really have the pure nail with him, but uh, he's got the hammer instead. And these two characters become companions. I know I said in the initial video that uh, there's a great tragedy that befalls the nailsmith, but if you do not commit said tragedy, the nailsmith finds Shio, and they become great friends, maybe even more than friends. And it's, it's truly an amazing thing to see that these two characters that were both they both had set goals. One wanted to be the master of the nail. The one wanted to create the perfect nail. They both mastered those goals. And then now they have, I guess, winded down. They've wound down. And, uh, and now they have new goals in life where they both pursue art and they both pursue paint. Not too dissimilar from me pursuing these clay sculptures. And I just absolutely love these characters. The nailsmith is just very humble and he's very driven to create the perfect nail. Which I think is just so cool, which is what he gives you in the game. And then on top of that, he he finds Paintmaster Shio, and they actually find they actually find companionship in both of their in both of their talents and, and dreams when it comes to being painters and artists. It's truly an amazing thing. I just love the character arc. And the other thing about Paintmaster Shio, whoop, sorry about that. 
He's a big guy. Paymaster Shio becomes a boss in the Godmaster DLC, like I said before, and he has his own pantheon, and he uses tons of attacks. He has a red paint attack, a yellow paint attack, a blue paint attack, and actually, I believe it's purple or pink. You'd have to look at it. And uh, it's one hell of a fight, because with it being a pantheon, you have to beat a bunch of other bosses in sequential order before you could actually fight the paint master himself. And he is just one of the coolest characters. And certainly my favorite when it comes to Hollow Knight. I love Paintmaster Shio. Just yeah, he's just a he's a very he's a character who was a warrior, who mastered his craft and then be, and then became a humble artist after that and chose chose not to fight anymore. Just an amazing character. But there you have it. There is Paintmaster Shio. If you enjoy content like this, go ahead and leave a like down below and remember to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you never miss the next Sculpture Showcase. I've got many more of these Hollow Knight ones coming. There are so many characters to cover in this game. And thank you again to that viewer who got me into this game, because I have, I have truly fallen in love with it. It's a fantastic game. Anybody who doesn't have it, you gotta get it. And I know I'm preaching to the choir here. I don't currently have the game, but stay tuned. I will get the game. And uh, leave a comment down below if you think I should do some kind of Let's Play. I may do that if I have time, but uh, in the meantime, keep doing these awesome sculptures. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the next Sculpture Showcase.